Discover Maputo, the beautiful capital city of Mozambique. Maputo, a city graced with a rich fusion of classical European architectural design and a unique touch of local Mozambique. This historic city boasts a strong array of cultures with the Bantu and Portuguese standing out as the most dominant. However, the Arabic, Indian, and Chinese influence are most noteworthy. With a population of over a million people, the nation's capital city stands as the most populated city. Lorenco Marks, a port city and the capital of Mozambique, was renamed Maputo in 1976. Espirito Santo Estuary of Delagoa Bay is located to the north of it, which connects to the Indian Ocean via Delagoa Bay. In 1544, a Portuguese trader discovered the region and named it Maputo. The village grew around a 1787 Portuguese stronghold. In 1907, it replaced the town of Macambique as the capital of Portuguese East Africa, which had been established as a city in 1887. Maputo enjoys a pleasant temperature thanks to the sea breezes that blow in from the Atlantic Ocean. A university and a natural history museum are both located in the town. Prior to Mozambique's independence in 1975, it was a famous tourist destination for white South Africans and Rhodesians because of its magnificent bathing beaches. Following independence, profits from tourism, once a key economic factor, almost completely disappeared. As one of East Africa's most important ports before independence, it handled trade from South Africa, Swaziland, and Rhodesia, which it has rail and road links to. The port took a hit when the border with Rhodesia was closed and ties between Mozambique and South Africa deteriorated. Shipbuilding and repair, fish canning, iron works, and the fabrication of textiles and other commodities are some of the local industries. The population was estimated at 1,099,102 in 2007. Welcome to Think Rich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed, yet you are missing out. In this video, we will take you through a journey of East Africa hidden paradise, Maputo. Located in the large Delgo Unnatural Bay on the Indian Ocean, Maputo is close to the confluence of the rivers camp in fueling Matola and Delusi, and is the capital of the country. Prior to the name change, the ancient city, which was originally settled by the Sangha people, was known as a fishing village. The city was originally known as Lorenco Marcus, in honor of a Portuguese trader and navigator who explored the region in the mid-50s and gave the region its name in honor of him. Starting out as a small town centered on a Portuguese fortress in the year 1850, it has grown into what it is today. By the early 20th century, the town had transformed into a city, with a growing population and increasing recognition for its economic development as a port city. During the year 1975, the Mozambican nation gained its independence from Portugal. This resulted in the renaming of the Lorenco market city to Maputo and the elevation of the city to the status of capital. As a thriving commercial center, the city's port serves as its primary source of economic development. A total of approximately 17 million tons of cargo could be handled by the port at its peak. The year 1971 was cited as a starting point for this saga. Starting today, the government has delegated management of the port to the Maputo Port Development Company. In an effort to upgrade infrastructure and improve the port's overall operation and efficiency. At the moment, the port of Maputo is capable of handling large vessels with more cargo. Sugar caught copper chromite, among other commodities, are the port's primary exports, with specific investments aimed at including granite, bulk liquids, metals, and coal, among other commodities. 
A new terminal proposed to accommodate and move 57,000 vehicles per year between the Middle East and Europe is in the planning stages and is expected to export an estimated amount of 10 million tons of coal. The terminal is expected to be completed by the end of the year. Almost everyone believes it will be completed by 2030. The new expansion of the port is expected to handle more than 50 million tons of cargo per year, with a total investment of more than $500 million expected to be made. The city anticipates that the port will generate approximately $160 million per year beginning in 2020. The capital of Mozambique, Maputo, is home to the country's largest university. The university has been around since Mon Lane's time, and it was previously known as the Lorenco Marcus University, which was established in 1968. In other provinces, such as Bura Melami Nampula and in Hambane, there are fractions of the university faculty that are still in existence. With a diverse collection of landmarks, the artistic city of Maputo encapsulates the Shai Kau Nucleo Dillard, which is the oldest collective art in Mozambique, as well as the Dillard Museum. If you are an art enthusiast, this city will undoubtedly pique your interest because it is home to the Natural Art Museum, as well as the Giassano Gallery, which houses an extensive display of the sculptor Alberto Casano's artwork. The Natural History Museum and the Museum of the Revolution are reputable museums that contain a wealth of information about the colonial era, including artifacts from the time period, as well as the complete history of these extraordinary African cities. The iconic City Hall of Maputo exudes the neoclassical architecture of the 1940s, while the Maputo Elephant Reserve, located close to the inlet of the Indian Ocean, provides an incredible insight into elephants and other wildlife in their natural environment. Maputo, the luxury capital of Mozambique, is a hive of multicultural interactions and it is the country's most important financial center. Prongs and piri piri sauce, as well as a special chili pepper combination, are popular in this African city. A large number of nightclubs, bars, and pubs are available in the popular community. A variety of handicrafts from different regions of Mozambique, as well as flowers and food stalls, can all be found in one location. Overall, this powerful African metropolis of Maputo is a city with enormous territories, a diverse variety of strong multicultural presence, and numerous places and wonders to see. Its wonderful blend of mystery and originality makes it an essential paradise for travelers. East Africa is the final destination. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Share our video with friends and family. Give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information. Help our channel grow.